Hey guys, Trimu here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a security chest with a combination in Minecraft 1.9. Minecraft 1.9 just came out. Now this is a design by Euclides, he's been on my channel before, and he made it in 1.8. Now I'm in 1.9 to test if this also works, but here's what we'll be building today. You can use the torches in the item frames to create a combination in any way you would like to unlock a chest. It's super easy to make, and it's actually pretty cool. But let's go ahead and get started and see if this does work in 1.9. So the first thing you want to do is create a platform. So I'm going to make a 6x2 platform right here. I think that's big enough to uh, put our chest on. Then I'm going to add my chest right here in the center. It can be a double chest. And then behind it, I'm going to place these redstone lamps uh, as well as a just a support wall behind the chest just like this. Once that is up, just place uh, some regular blocks other than, I guess, whatever your wall is made of. Uh, so that way you can tell where the item frame combinations are going to be. And then right behind it, we're going to begin placing our wool. Um, so I'm going to start by placing four on each side just like this. And then in the middle, I'm going to connect them uh, with a line of wool just like that. Then behind it, I'm going to put um, two pieces of wool just like this kind of diagonally uh, and then under that I'm gonna put another layer of wool just like that connecting each side and then I'm gonna put two pieces of wool here and then delete these so now we have a shape just kind of like this oh I almost forgot that you have to put uh, two pieces of wool right here in the center connecting uh, the two sections of wool just like that and then from here we're going to go down and then uh, forward one. So I'm going to place two pieces of wool just like this. And then from here we're going to do the same diagonal kind of pattern here. Sorry I'm placing a whole bunch of extra blocks. It's just it's a little weird to build like this. But this is how it's supposed to look. And then from here I'm going to add two blocks of wool just kind of back towards the uh, chest here. Just like this. Um, connecting these two blocks here. And then below that place two more blocks. Just like that. And then another piece of wool there. Delete those two blocks and then um, extend this out to three blocks. And then we're almost done. Just stick with me here. We have just a few more wool blocks. Place one just like that. One step up. And then next to that, we're placing two just like that. And then next to that, I'm going to go ahead and add four more wool blocks in a square like this. And then um, I'm going to make these step up to the ceiling right here just like that and then I'm also gonna leave this block right here so this is what it looks like when we're done I know that was kind of confusing I just did the wiring part first I'm gonna do the redstone uh, in the next step so you guys can see how that works so this is essentially the entire build alone without the redstone in it before I place any redstone I'm gonna grab some droppers and hoppers and I'm gonna delete these blocks right here so that way I can start building just grab some hoppers and place three of them just like this one two and three but make them all face up towards this chest right here just like that and then under the chest down here on the third block uh, or the third dropper place a hopper connecting to it and then grab a another chest and then from the side place one where it's facing the dropper just like that and then on top of that place another hopper except this one is going to connect the top chest to the bottom chest and then we can close this up just like that. Now I'm going to go around back and I'm going to start making some redstone magic. So grab some redstone dust, redstone torches, redstone comparators, and repeaters from your chest. And we're going to put down the torches first. So, um, oh, I forgot one wool. There should be one more wool right here. One torch goes right here, right here right here and a couple torches right there then I'm gonna flip around to the top side and then I'm gonna put a couple torches here and then two torches right there and then we should be done with the torches now grab a few comparators and I'm gonna place these down starting right here at the bottom uh, you actually need a comparator right here in between this dropper and the wool block and I think you have to place it this way yes wait no this way yeah, where the levers are facing the dropper. So there's one comparator. Now I'm going to go up here and then place one right here and here. And then I'm going to place two more. One right here and then the other one right here. Make sure the orientation is right 
with the comparators because that's that's what's gonna unlock our chest here so uh, yeah once you get your comparators all in I actually think that is all of them make sure these two in the front are activated just like that and then um, grab some repeaters and I'm gonna make these face this way just like that I'm gonna add in two repeaters and then down here I'm gonna add another repeater except this one is going to face away from the block just like this and then let's see I think that is all of the repeaters we actually need Yes, that looks right. So now we just have to fill in redstone and then put down our item frames with the redstone torches and we are done. So place a redstone right here, here, all on the top, just like that. Uh, I think we place two right here, yes we do. And we place a couple here, bam. Um, leave these two blocks blank. And then come down here and then place redstone here and then on these two blocks. And then we're going to place some here. I actually forgot a repeater right here. This is where uh, the last repeater goes. And then uh, the rest is filled with redstone, just like that. And that should be it. It should work now. Um, now I just have to place the item frames with the redstone torches in them. This is um, the back of the device. You need to put two item frames here as well. Um, and then on here, you need to place uh, the item rotated to where it's one less than uh, the combination you want up here in the front. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to place two item frames up here too. And I'm going to make this uh, combination face diagonally. So I'm going to make them face inward. And they, they both need to be in this uh, rotation in order to open the chest or essentially just put all the items in this chest. Um, and then back here, you need to rotate these like this. This one will be facing down, and then this one over here will be facing right. And now what that means is, see this one here is facing right, so that means over here, one more rotation would make it face diagonally to the right. And then on this one over here, it is facing down, and then if I go to the front, one more rotation uh, will make it face to the left. So there you go, the combination works, and you can tell because these redstone lamps have turned on. Now if I rotate these out of order, it will turn off and it won't work. So what I want to do now, to see if it even works at all, I'm going to put um, some special items in this chest here, and it looks like it's already working. Um, and then if the combination is right, it will put all of the items in this top chest. So if I make it wrong again, they will detract into uh, this chest here and then uh, yeah that's it I mean you can make any combination you want so if I want to alter these by two rotations I just do that twice and then I go back here I change the rotations once each and then it works again so there's all my items and it is pretty slow so it isn't necessarily great if you have just stacks of items it's really only good for like what it's called a security chest it's a special chest that has just a few special items and it can only be done if you have the right combination and that is, I just think that's so cool that would be an awesome thing to have in your world so there it is the combination all set back up looks like it's working really good and yeah that's how you make a security chest uh, really easily in vanilla Minecraft it looks like it does work in Minecraft 1.9 so that's good news but uh, yeah I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did leave a like down below it helps me out a lot and let me know if you want to see uh, some more of these how to build redstone kind of videos uh, with cool devices and stuff like that but other than that, I will talk to you guys later, and peace out.